Why? Why is Fortinbras and Polonius in the same cell? Mm. Lady Birgitta. My lord. How did they discover my location? Did you? Of course not. But you were imprisoned. The other men had no clarity of action behind them. Wait, what? But you were imprisoned? The other men had no clarity of action behind them? I don't understand what that means. Disappointing. I'm certain they'll rally regardless. Without you, they won't accomplish anything against Elsinore. They're scattered, frightened. They needed you. Perhaps they shall have me yet. This court is already fraying. I can see it. If any peace falls from the board, we'll have our chance. If there's but a moment of chaos, then I or one of your officers must come here to free you. I understand. Precisely. If any peace falls, I need to keep them all alive. Ah. Uh, all? All of them alive? No one must die. I can save them. I have to. Should I uh, pop up now? Mm. Prince Fortinbras in there, but shall not remain so. Why you? Why are you replying to my inner thoughts? Oh, well, what makes you so certain of that? I'd be a poor tactician if I disclose my every possible move. I don't believe I've ever formally made your acquaintance, though by the look of you, I know you are that Lady Ophelia. If you expect me to have pleasantries to exchange with you, I don't. You're trying to burn my country to the ground. How unfortunate that this is your perception of my mission. The Danish are like neglected dogs, snarling at anything unfamiliar. They have not known the touch of a kind master. When I'm ruler of Denmark, allow me then to show you what such a kind touch looks like. Ruler of Denmark is quite a leap for you in the present moment. For now, the only thing you're ruling is this cell. Farewell, and enjoy it. Yes, farewell, for now. Has no one died so far? Yeah, no one has died yet. What? Hold on, what day is it? Hmm. No one's died. And it's Friday. I don't remember when people normally die. I don't know, there's so many freaking events that can happen, so many ways in which they can happen or not happen. Like, what do I need to look out for today? What's happening today? <laughs> I don't remember. So if somebody dies, then Prince Fortinbras is going to get out, I guess. Somebody's going to bring him out, take advantage of the chaos, and then we'll probably get a game over at that point? Or maybe later? How are my leads looking? Prince Fortinbras threat. Yep. The lost notes thing. Something I'm missing. Uh-huh. Claudius coming undone. That can only happen. That can only happen when Gertrude dies. Which maybe has been avoided if it would have happened yesterday, or maybe it'll happen tonight since Polonius isn't in the picture. I'm not sure. Mm, I think I can go to Hamlet into killing Gertrude if I tell Hamlet about the affair, the proof of the affair. Prince's ambitions, let's not do that. All oh, right, I need to be in Hamlet's good graces for the journey at sea thing. 
I want to wait on the wall, speak with the spirit, and I guess I don't want Gertrude to die. To test out the whole... Um... What was it called? To test out the Claudius coming undone thing, because if Gertrude dies, then Prince Fortinbra is going to get out. So let's see what happens if I do nothing, and then I can try to react to it in the future on another loop. And hang out at the walls. Who was that? I don't know. Probably one of the guards. Oh, they're gone again. <laughs> ah! Anything new? I've noticed you're free of your assassin, are you not? Yeah, we've already had that conversation before. What time is it? It's midnight. So I think before they... Last time I met them, I asked one question and then they disappeared. I think that was just because time ran out. I got to him late. I don't think it's because you're only allowed one question or something like that. Don't remember whether I've asked these questions before, so I'm just going to go through them off screen and then I'll bring you back if something new happens. I think this is something we've never talked with a ghost before about. I mentioned uh, my mother and the stuff left about them, the, their journal and the, the boathouse, dockhouse, whatever thing. Which I, th I think our mother was set sent to the asylum by old Hamlet, a.k.a. this ghost, or what this ghost used to be. Your mother? Yes, when the plague came. Don't you remember? Death is a wall. Very little permeates it. Ah, well then, allow me to refresh your memory. You sent my mother, the only woman who looked after your mother in her final moments, the wife of your chief advisor, to her death. When she was sick, you could have kept her in the castle. You could have had your servants bathe her with cool cloths or bring her water when she vomited. And at night, a fire if she shivered. Isn't that what all sufferers desire? Compassion? She might have survived then. She might have made it. But you didn't do that. Instead, because she was not herself nobility, you ordered that she be sent to a sanitarium far from her family. And she died in pain, alone, far away from anyone she loved. Liar. You're lying. You do remember, don't you? I am ashamed. But I cannot hide the truth. All I can do is offer my deepest apologies. My decision was clearly in error. Polonius and I never spoke of it at the time, but... Your apology means nothing now that both you and she are dead. And it wouldn't help anything. It was a long, long time ago. I would understand if you no longer spoke to me. No. I need you, and you need me. You can make it up to me by helping me survive this. Help me keep the people I love alive. That's how you can make this right. Ophelia. In that case, I am at your service. Okay, if they're at my service, then... That sounds potentially very useful. I'm not exactly sure how they would serve me. Ask about the king's notes again? Last time they said they didn't really remember. Spirit. See my father's or personal journals? If so, where are they? Yeah, gaps in my knowledge. Yeah, nothing there. So how how can you help me? Yeah, exhausted every line of dialogue. It didn't do anything special that we haven't seen before. Only the one about Hamlet sending our mother to the sanitarium. Uh, that was the only real new one. I guess they disappeared because we had nothing more to ask them because it's not very late at night. Hmm... 
What should I do then? I should probably keep an eye out for any event happening in the dungeon. What now? <laughs> Listen to the announcement. How about no, because it's probably... Oh. The lady just showed up. I think they're about to break them out of jail. Ophelia's current event is interrupted by a sudden interlude. The event is probably Gertrude and Hamlet dying or something like that. Ah, my captain. It's good to see your face. I never doubted you would come for me. Let their chaos be our convenience. Come, your highness. We'll get you to the gates. Let's make haste. I'm not sure how long Bernardo's men will let down their guard. Ophelia. Damn it. I have failed in my duties most utterly. As I brought everyone together for the announcement this morning, one of my men reported back from Fortinbras' cell. Fortinbras. The prince has escaped, yes. I know. I watched the whole thing happen. I'm still watching Pierre kneeling down in the dark. It's kind of awkward. So I witnessed. Hmm. I believe his men watched for any sign of chaos within our ranks to come forth. Okay, this, this is just a very... They're trying to uh, wrap a really nice, like, story kind of justification around it. But I can feel the gaminess underneath. I mean, the gaminess is just don't let anybody die. Or the prince is implausibly let out by people that just, I don't know, pick the lock? Have the key? Like, why can't I just tell Bernardo, hey, psst, make sure to keep, like, one person here. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of silly, but whatever. I, I get the point of it. I need to keep everybody alive. Mm-hmm. Surely the prince's forthcoming assault will be delayed, but not spurned as we'd hoped. <sighs> Rallying my men now, I'm certain we will still prevail. I'm not. I had everything lined up. Seems fixing our external affairs means a little if in internal affairs are still bloody. Yeah, my father came back. Where did you go? As far as being delayed, I mean, they're still going to come on Sunday, right? Who died, by the way? Ah, yes. It was Hamlet and Gertrude. So, the first death I need to worry about... Or <laughs> deaths, I guess, plural is Hamlet, Gertrude, and Polonius. If I get Polonius to leave and not listen to the conversation between Gertrude and Hamlet, then they live, but Hamlet and Gertrude kill each other. So I would need to stop them from killing each other somehow? How would I do that? I don't know. I guess I would have to try to distract Hamlet, perhaps. Ah, but you know what this allows me to do? Since Claudius is mourning his dead wife... I can now do that whole thing again. Yay! Okay, doing the whole unpleasant, and especially unpleasant now, thing with Claudius. We don't actually sleep with them, like, I mean, in the sense that we don't have sex with them. I think we just kind of comfort them as they fall asleep. Yeah. Still... Doesn't feel good to comfort somebody as disgusting as that person. So, last time I was here, right before I left, you mentioned you'd send someone to find me later today. I wonder what for. Last time I was here, I looked at the letter to Claudius, and then I was like immediately discovered by Claudius, who I guess woke up and came looking for us or something. So I don't want to look at that letter. I want to see if there's anything else to look at. 
Maybe the poison. Could I get the poison myself? I don't know what I'd use it for. I wonder if there's something inside this face. There's something in here. A vial? Yep, that's a poison. It stinks of some kind of noxious fumes. This must be the poison he used to kill King Hamlet. I'd better pocket it. Oh my god. Okay, so it looks like you have the chance to do one thing in the room before they find you. And I don't think they I don't think they see me doing the thing, right? Apologies, I was uh, trying to leave without waking you. Uh-huh, I see. If you'd like to return to your chair, because you're free to go, of course. Okay. Yeah, so we can do one thing. What could I do with poison? Obviously kill people, but who would I want to kill? Who could I kill? At this point in the story? Can I put it in the food and just get everybody killed or something? Go to the kitchen? Hmm. So somebody's gonna come to get me in the future, right? Oh, today is Saturday. So we're actually pretty close to the end of this loop. I was... <laughs> I was thinking I need to be at the docks in case Hamlet goes out on the boats today, but Hamlet's dead. So that's super not happening. Is anybody going to come get me? Or what? Wait, why is Laertes here? Is this the moment when Cla Claudius tries to kill Laertes? How did- how were they killed? Was it by poison? Because if so, they don't have the poison. Oh, does Laertes kill the king? He lies down there, asleep in his chamber. Okay, yeah, this is an event we have not seen before. Why is this happening? This is happening be... Wait. Why is this happening? I was going to say it's because Laertes believes the rumor that Claudius killed Polonius, but Polonius isn't dead. I see. A dagger before me, the handle turned towards my hand. Come, let me clutch it. I... I have you not... And yet, I see you still. Hmm. This is a false creation. A fatal vision. Yet I do see you still. And on your blade, gouts of blood. No. There's no such thing. While I stand here entertaining this insanity, he lives. This heated deed must not be cooled. It's as good as done. I can practically hear the guards ringing the midnight bell. But you can't hear it, Claudius, can you? <laughs> it is a knell. It summons you to heaven. Or to hell. Oh, Claudius is definitely going to hell. If there's a hell, Claudius is going to it. Good job, brother. The deed is done. What have I done? My hands are a sorry sight, covered in his blood. I thought I heard a whisper in there. It cried, sleep no more. It felt like a curse. 
Claudius is dead. As it should have been. As it shall now be. Sleep no more. I wonder if that was a curse from the ghost of old Hamlet to Claudius. Like, sleep no more, you fucker. <laughs> this is the first timeline where King Claudius has ended up dead. And I didn't die at the same time, therefore unable to do anything past the point where they die. Right? Or is that true? No. I forgot exactly what confluence of events made it happen, but I remember the one where I agreed to marry young Hamlet. They were going to become the new ruler because King Claudius was... I don't think they just left, so they must have died. I just don't remember how. Hmm. Can I just go into their chambers now, or is it still locked? Ah, it's locked. Even now I'll have to wait for Claudius to invite me in. Well, I don't think I'm ever getting in there in this playthrough then. <laughs> Claudius is dead. Should I go speak to Laertes about it? I guess not really. Right? What is there to really say? And yes, our father is still alive. Yep. Did they kill Claudius just for... Oops, I didn't mean to get the key. Did they kill Claudius just because they arrested Polonius? Because they think they're a spy and they're like, my father is not a spy. How dare you sully their name? I shall continue to wait and, oh, what's this? Ah, you come to me. Ophelia. I've returned. I was at Port in Alberg when I heard the news about everything happening back here, that is. Uh. Terry, quickly. You're all right. No one's harmed you. Yeah, we've seen this before. <sighs> Heard about the circumstances around Hamlet's death. I've come back to understand and to sort through what's left. You know where to find me if you need me. Okay, we should go speak with him. I don't think he'd listen to anything I could say right now. He's unusually upset. Oh, I gotta wait till tomorrow. Okay, in that case, to the walls. You have anything new to say today, ghost? Or is this going to be a quick high-bye? Still living, I see. So you managed to stay your fate. I'm impressed. But tomorrow it will save you no more than the others. More ominous warnings. Do you have anything else to offer me? It's what the dead do best. Now, what news do you bring? Nothing, apparently. Great. Nice talking with you. Harold's horn, probably announcing the king's death. Don't want to listen. Laertes is there. Let's go speak to them. Hey. Oh, they're... Why are they shattered now? Oh, wait. No. They knew Hamlet was dead yesterday. And that didn't shatter them. But now they're shattered. Normally this happens when they learn that Hamlet dies, because, you know, they're in love with Hamlet. It seems like it still shatters them here, even though they apparently knew before. I don't understand. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe even though they're shattered, we could speak if we've... 
uh, meet them at the Flinty and Steel. It's Sunday, by the way, so things are going to come to a close very soon. Hello. Whoa. Is this... I'm not sure what events led to this happening, but could this be Simona? Mysterious old woman? Uh, uh, ah, hello, Othello. Have you any need to buy a little barley wine today? I have three casks outside. <laughs> a little. <laughs> you know this place. The field fellows drank it all within the first three days. If you can sell me thrice as much, I can pay it. Aye, that's well enough. A drink before you unpack. I'm in no hurry. Hmm. I'll indulge these bones a while, yes. Are you gonna talk? Doesn't show any event happening, so I guess I'll just speak with you. <laughs> the only option is Simona lives. I know who you are. You're Lady Simona. Simona. Hmm. One's ever called me a lady, lass. But you are. You're King Alexander's former consort. I'm Ophelia. You knew my mother, at least, didn't you? You're the exact image of her. I'm sorry. But Lady Simona died a long time ago. You're too late. She wanted nothing to do with that cursed, vile castle or any of the evil people dwelling within it. And I still don't. Good day to you, lady. May no harm come to you. Or do you have some business with me I should be aware of? Old woman now believes that Ophelia believes that Simona is alive. Yeah, I still think you're Simona. I don't believe you. That they died. Uh, damn, there's nothing else I can do! Can I talk to you about Simona Lives? We've talked to him about it before. Is it any different now? Because they're standing right in front of us. Hmm. Old hag by the name comes around every week on Sundays. Hey, today's Sunday. She ought to be coming by this Sunday, in fact. Oh, they've mentioned this before. I guess I forgot that they mentioned that they come on Sunday. Hmm. But it looks like it doesn't count for much if we don't have... I don't know, an inn of some sort. Right? We need some way to start talking about something, some proof for something. I'm just gonna follow them. Okay, well, Fortinbras still comes. Surprise. Two guards come running, two guards come from the flinty and steel. Stab, stab. Let's see if this is any different, though, if there's any differences here. Submit. Prince Fornbrush should come in a second. Good luck this time. Slightly bluish soldiers rather than reddish soldiers. So this dialogue's a little different. Fortinbras capture was an insult to Norway, but now that he's returned, we'll return the action tenfold. And we won't stop until every wall is rubble. I can't stay here. If they capture me, they'll use me as ransom. What was that sound? The outer gate? Yeah, I mean... They weren't gonna stop out there. Like, what could I do in here? <laughs> Who's coming? Let's see if the dialogue from Fort and Bra is any different. Good luck, Cygnus. Quint's not looking, because they already know this is going to happen, right? This isn't exciting for Quint's. They're like, yes, yes, everybody dies. Mm-hmm. That 
didn't seem any different. Yeah, that's the same. Back at the beginning again. Uh. What? Let's see if Ophelia says anything new. Sometimes when they learn things, they say new things at the beginning of the day. Lord Fortinbras' invasion is frightening and powerful. Uh -huh. Even if I'm still alive, then what is... Okay, yeah, that's the same. Perhaps doing the spirits, bidding, and finding King Hamlet's notes is the way forward. He keeps coming back to those damn notes. I don't know what to do with them. But nonetheless, I've made some pretty solid progress this episode. And we met Lady Simona, I'm pretty sure, even though we couldn't do anything with them. So I think I'll end here. Beginning of a timeline is always a good place to end. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna hatch some plans with what I want to do in the next timeline.